Okay, today we're going to learn how to um, find the greatest common factor. Um, greatest just means biggest. Common just means what they share. All the numbers, what they share. And factor, um, that's the numbers that multiply to get to that number. For example, 2 times 3 equals 6. So that means that 2 and 3 are factors of 6. So the easiest way to see if a number is a factor is to divide on a calculator. For example, let's use 6 and, and 2 and 3 again. So I, on a calculator, I would do 6 divided by 2, and the calculator would tell me 3. Because it's a 3 and it's a whole number, there's no decimal part or remainder, that means that 2 and 3 are both factors of 6. So here's another example. You need to do this one. Is 5 a factor of 21? So go ahead and do that on the calculator. Hit pause. So on your calculator, you should have done 21 divided by 5. And the calculator should have told you 4.2. So what does that mean? Does that mean 5 and 4.2 are factors of 21 or are not? If you said no, then you're right. So because it has that decimal portion, 0 0.2, it means that 5 is not a factor. Um, it also implies that 4.2 is not a factor either. Factors are always going to be whole numbers. So once you see decimals or fractions or remainders, it's not a factor. So here's another example. Which is the greatest common factor of 24, 60, and 72? So we've been dealing with this idea of factor. So now we're going to bring in greatest and common into the, t into the definition. So what's the greatest common factor of 24, 60, and 72? Is it 2, 6, 12, or 24? Because I'm looking for the greatest common factor, which number should I start with? Should I start with 2, 6, 12, or 24? If you said 24, great. You should always start with the biggest because it, you're looking for the greatest common factor. So what do you need to do? You need to check if 24 is a factor of all three. So I'm going to do all my calculator. 20, 72 divided by 24 is 3. Yay! 60 divided by 24 is 1.2. Boo! What does that mean? Well, it means that 24 is not a factor of 60. So therefore, D, 24, is not the answer. So let's try our next biggest number, which is 12. So on the calculator, I'm checking all three. I'm checking 72, I'm checking 60, and I'm checking 24. And all three of them give me whole numbers. Because they all give me whole numbers, again, no fractions or decimal portions in the answer, that implies that 12 is a factor of all three, 24, 60, and 72. That takes care of the common part. Now the greatest part comes from the fact that um, it is the biggest number that all three of them share. Now what about 2 and 6? 2 and 6 are factors, but again, they're not the greatest. It's not the biggest number out there. So therefore, 12 is the greatest common factor of 24. 60 and 72. Thanks for watching my video.